This week's moneymaker is in the Tazar Caves, and you may have seen a similar moneymaker as this one for Onyxes. Unfortunately, bots have pretty much killed that moneymaker now. There are two profitable methods that you can do here and you will need to have achieved the fire cave to do this and that is because to get access to the southern part of the cave you need to hand in a fire cape. However a fire cape can be achieved at a very low level these days and even if you've never done it before there are plenty of good guides on it and because there is a requirement obviously it is far less likely to be botted. The ore and gem shop here buys and sells ores and gems for Tockle and if you go to the wiki for the Tazar Hurin store it will show you how much he buys and sells each item for. The price bought at shows how much Tockle you get for each item that you sell and the GE price is the current cost of the item itself. By taking the GE price and dividing it by the Tockle you receive it tells you how much each Tockle in effect costs you but the wiki has done that for you and put it into this column here. By selling mithril and silver ore to the shop, it gives you a return of around 1 tockle per 4 GP spent. Then, in a similar way, by working out what items you can buy from the shop for the best return using the GE price divided by the price sold at, anything over 4 GP gives you a profit and again, the wiki has worked this out for you. A couple of things to keep in mind is that the Karamja gloves give you an even better purchase and sales price than the listed price here, so it should be worn at all times and like any shop, the more you buy, the higher the price goes up and the more you sell, the lower the price you receive. So you have to hop worlds to make the best profit. For the first method I started off with 500 silver and 500 mithril ore, which cost 66,500 GP. I then sold 10 of each per world and purchased as many diamonds as I could each time which was normally 2 or 3. However, if you start getting one diamond consistently it means someone else has been buying and selling to the shop so I recommend hopping 50 or so worlds just to get ahead of that person so you can get the best price. All gems give a good profit but diamonds take longer to fill your inventory so are currently the best money as you have to bank less when doing them. When your inventory is full there is a bank just to the north and if you're doing this for a long time you may wish to use a stamina potion occasionally as well. It took me 11 minutes to do that run, finishing with 99 diamonds worth 275,000 GP which was a 208,000 GP profit and that works out at 1.13 million GP per hour. However, I am always conscious about how many people can do a moneymaker, so I wanted to make it so that a bunch of people selling to the store wouldn't crash the profit, and I also found another method that stops that from happening. If you just sell mithril ore to the shop, you can spam sell it 50 at a time using the last option on the Runelite menu entry swapper to shift sell 50 at a time to any shop and the price never goes below 60 in Tockle each ore you sell which still gives you a profit. So I sold 10,000 ores in just 36 seconds and then bought 6 diamonds on every single world. You will use a lot more run this way as you have to bank a lot more often so will definitely need stamina. The diamonds are the most profitable but all gems work and you can even do a selection of each per world if you prefer. It took me just 35 and a half minutes to trade 10,000 mithril ore which cost me 945,000 GP for 634 diamonds worth 1.75 million which is an hourly profit of 1.38 million GP and the best part about this method is even if 1,000 people do it the tockle you get is always the same it takes next to no time to restock 6 gems and so many gems are traded on the GE every single day that thousands more won't even make much of a difference. I hope you enjoyed this method, I will have a new money maker out for you next week as well as some more guides and some bot busting videos.